G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. Over the last couple of months, the competition in ARB has become a lot more tough. There have been a lot more interesting additions to ARB, including more planes with pulse Doppler radar, or at least MTI, several increasingly strong missiles such as the ASPID, the AIM-9L, and uh, of course the R-24R, R-24T, and of course the good old Skyflash. These missiles will only get stronger as time goes by, and despite the fact that most of these planes can have better missiles, Gaijin has decided to keep them with the fairly basic, relatively speaking, missiles. Now, these so-called basic missiles are still extremely dangerous. Things like the AIM-9J and the AIM-9L are quite powerful. The uh, PL-5Bs, for example, on the J-8, uh, the ASPID missiles, or ASPIDA missiles, these are all missiles that are very, very strong. And of course, we're getting to a point now where the missile technology is starting to supersede the airframe's capabilities. And what I mean by this is that you'll find that you'll have to bleed a lot more speed or use a lot more flares to dodge these increasingly stronger missiles. Now, uh, granted, at this point in time where missiles are not quite as strong, this is not quite the case. But there could be a bug fix or there could be a change in the game that makes this exactly the way it was a couple of months ago. Where, for example, if you wanted to get rid of a 9J, you would have had to turn off your afterburner and continuously spam flares until the uh, missile has sort of either poofed out of existence or disappeared or alternatively taken the bait. Now, what are we talking about here? These missiles are going to get stronger and stronger. We could potentially add the 9L to, I believe it's the Phantom E. Um, and of course, the R60 is just the same as the R60M. So we could theoretically add R60Ms to just about any of the other planes that uh, carry R60s. That being said, it would be a terrible balance idea. But uh, this kind of calls for a bit more DR, BR decompression. And this is kind of what I wanted to really run home today. Currently, as it stands, War Thunder's battle ratings are okay. The general system is fairly good in terms of its concept. In terms of its execution, I would consider it okay as well. There are some particular points of tension though. And these points of tension tend to be towards the higher end. You don't really find the battle ratings failing planes at these sort of lower BRs. They tend to sort of always have a place for something. Even at the low tier jets, or even mid-tier jets for that matter. 8.3, 8.7, most of the jets you'll find there are pretty good. The only couple that are, I would call turds, would be things like the Super Mystere or the Javelin or the F-84F. And these planes have their own unique circumstances where I believe things should either be adjusted or uh, maybe the matchmaker is starting to grow out of these planes or vice versa rather. These are some cases that occur more and more frequently towards the higher battle ratings. The F-104s are a classic example. The early MiG-21s, the MiG-21F and the MiG-21PFM, both have R-13, or not even R-13s, they have R-3s, R-3Ss, and uh, I'm not even sure if they have R-3Rs, I, I don't think they do. But these planes have extremely good performance, and you might think, well, that would be a good alternative, a good sort of changeover, but... At the same time, they'll also fight things as low as the F-8F, uh, sorry, the F-9F-9 Cougar, which is at 8.3. This sort of demonstrates the changing atmosphere as you go from those low tier jets to the current high tier jets, where you find a few planes that get squished out of the matchmaker. A classic example back in the day was the MiG-19. The MiG-19 was at 10.0, and it did fairly terribly constantly faced things that had R60s. There was a fairly strong missile meta at uh, medium to long range, and you couldn't really do anything as a MiG-19. You didn't have particularly strong flight performance. You didn't have any radar guided missiles. You had very basic infrared guided missiles, and you had no flares, which put you at a severe disadvantage. And at the sort of 9.0 to 10.3 matchmaker, we kind of have the same. Now, I'd like to make a video on the MiG-21 SMT because right now that plane is pretty much the king of this battle rating because the R60s are very strong and uh, planes that either maybe they don't have flares or maybe people are still starting to, to learn their flares are uh, at this battle rating. And, you know, 9.3 doesn't really stand a chance against a 10.3 plane with R60s. I feel 
there is some room for the matchmaker to move. Because you might think, well, that, that's easy, up tier at 10.7. And then you end up with a Draken situation where the Draken is sort of capable. There's plenty for it to do. It's one of the best turning jets in the game. And uh, it's got RTB 24 J's, which are analogous to the AIM-9 J's, which, you know, they do fairly well. But there are several distinct disadvantages that these planes have, and I feel like a battle rating increase to 11.7 could help alleviate that. These planes don't have any capabilities for any radar missiles. These would be planes that don't, maybe they don't have flares, maybe they lack uh, certain other gadgets or certain other benefits that other planes might be having. And for me, the MiG-21 SMT and the MF are sort of that key area where I have a little bit of a gripe, because 9.3 is a pretty rough battle rating, and 9.7 even so uh, doesn't quite have the same advantages as a 10.3, and you might think, well, yeah, that's because they're getting up-tiered. And uh, of course, I, I would like to see something done about planes getting up-tiered, but we have sort of what we've got. We kind of have to work with it, right? So my thoughts around this are by expanding the matchmaker around that sort of 9.7, 10.0 area, you're able to alleviate some of the pressure on those sort of 9.0, 9.3 planes. And granted, there are not a lot of them, but that extra separation can help bring back a very healthy matchmaker for the battle ratings that surround it. I do also acknowledge that there are some classic examples of the uh, meta BRs, and right now the meta BR seems to be 10.0, 10.3, where they don't really get up tiered to 11.0 because the matchmaker is fairly healthy at this point. It's not like it was a few years ago where uh, a couple of planes would just never get played and if they were it was a complete rarity and they always got up tiered. I think we're sort of able to, with a bit more fleshed out matchmaker, sort of bring those planes a bit more to the limelight where they can be balanced appropriately. For example, I would consider the MiG-21 SMT and MF great compatriots to things like the F-8 Crusader. Uh, the F-8 is, I believe, a little bit slower. Uh, it hasn't got quite as good missiles, but it has excellent dogfighting performance. It's got a superb climb rate. Uh, and of course, the uh, altitude performance is exemplary for the F-8. Of course, it also packs some fairly strong radar missiles, which are uh, quite lethal in the shorter range. I would also rate the guns a lot higher on the F-8 Crusader as the uh, supposed last gunfighter. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. It got most of its kills with missiles, but it uh, doesn't matter. We're going to call it the last gunfighter, okay? So, for example, these two planes might be good at 10.7, uh, but if you move them up to 10.7, they might have some issues. Just, just a few issues. They might be facing things like the Vigan. They might be facing things like the uh, MiG-21 MLD a lot more frequently. And that's kind of what I'd like to do is, is have these planes moved up in a higher battle rating. I think things like the Vigan, which has six missiles, two of which are excellent semi-active radar homing missiles. The, uh, of course, excellent flight performance of the Vigan is also not to be sniffed at. The gun is fairly strong. And of course, it has a decent amount of countermeasures I believe the Vigan needs to be a 10.3 or 10.7 plane. And with that, I would put the MLD, which is arguably the best plane at the, in the game at the moment. I would probably put the J8B there. Uh, I would probably also put planes like the EJ Kai, the F4J, maybe not, the F4E, maybe not. These types of planes that just exceed at multiple things. Planes that have excellent semi-active radar homing missiles and pulse Doppler planes that have excellent IR missiles, and planes that have excellent flares, planes that have excellent flight performance that are sort of more so than the others. I feel like these are the planes that need to be represented by that 11.7 battle rating. Giving, giving them that extra breathing room will take away the pain of those sort of 10.7s, or those planes that, you know, could be moved to 10.7. And once you do that, it takes away the pain that could be uh, had by those sort of true 9.7s, those planes that, you know, not really that good, F-100D, some of the Harriers even, uh, I, I feel like these types of planes could really benefit from that extra battle rating space. The MiG-19s could even be moved to 10.0, the E Lightning perhaps, although I would consider that more of a uh, 9.7 if the 10.0 MiG-19 is the quintessential 10.0. I think that would also give some excellent breathing room to things like the F-104s. 
I haven't actually got any F-104 gameplay on the channel because the F-104 is such a pig to fly. It's just annoying. It's frustrating. It's terrible. The F-104S is a, is a good example, although that's way high up at top tier. Um, but even the F-104A, the F-104C, uh, the F-104Gs, the F-104J, I find terrible to fly because they don't have many other options where they can stretch their legs. And I feel like giving them that extra room could potentially make for a more viable space for them where they're not getting up tiered as much, they're not getting shafted as much, and there's a little bit more breathing room about the whole space, which gives them an opportunity to, like I said, stretch their legs. These types of changes are beneficial to the game, and you might say, well, queue times, and, and absolutely, there's the opportunity there to increase queue times, which is, you know, not an opportunity that a game developer wants to take, but I feel like the benefits here will outweigh the, uh, the, the drawbacks. In this case, I see that there's a bit more potential to spread wings and perhaps to add more intermediary aircraft. The MiG-19F, which, sorry, the MiG-17F, which is the, uh, you know, Shenyang F5 in the Russian tree could also be added to the game, you know, and give it some extra, extra breathing room. I feel like there's more potential in sort of these intermediary planes uh, and even, you know, earlier MiG-21s, early... SU fighters, the, the Sukhoi fighters, they're at 9.3, uh, and I feel like they could be put to 9.7, where they're no longer going to fight those 8.3s, same as the MiG-21s. These are planes that are, yes, tough to fly, but giving them that sort of freedom away from those enemy, uh, the, those higher battle rating fighters, is something that can only be looked upon as, as, a, as a positive. It really sucks for these lower BR people that are trying to, you know, push up into the high tiers and find that they're fighting against planes that are much, much more powerful than theirs, where the only thing that you can do against them is hope that they don't make a mis hope that they make a mistake and, and attempt to capitalize on them. Overall, I believe that War Thunder does a good job of their battle ratings and occasionally gets it wrong with some fairly uh, frustrating choices. But I do think that there is plenty of opportunity to grow the battle ratings and still have a fairly strong and fairly alive matchmaker. There are plenty of planes that could sort of deal with this or, or, or even benefit from this type of thing uh, and I think that my point is fairly exhaustive. I've definitely spoken about this on multiple occasions. I think now is the time. 11.7? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And with planes coming in the future like the F-14, MiG-29, you know, MiG-25, perhaps? I know the MiG-25 would be a pig to fly, it would be a pain in the ass, but uh, things like the MiG-29, the Su-27, the F-14, F-15, F-16, all of these planes could be coming to the game in the near future. Gaijin has already said that they're ready for Gen 4 fighters, and how are they going to prepare the game without laying the groundwork first? The best way to lay the groundwork is to make sure that the matchmaker is prepared for these planes. When Gaijin originally entered the supersonic planes into the game, they were a full battle rating above their opponents. And for me, that was the best. That was perfect. It adequately separated them and adequately determined that their level of performance was exactly one battle rating superior to what it should have been. And now, it's becoming more and more compressed. The further and further we get into this compression, the more it damages the matchmaker the more it damages the diversity of each and every tech tree. You might look at a plane and go, well, that's actually a really nice performing plane, but it sucks that it's in a matchmaker where it's just going to get ruffle stomped by this plane or that plane. And at the moment, it's okay. But I have a feeling that when we get to this higher BR, if the groundwork is not laid properly, we're going to get another situation where you're going to get a higher tier plane that gets stomped on, like the, the MiG-19, and then gets pushed down to where it's fighting 8.7s. And I've said this a thousand times, I believe the MiG-19 is actually better when it's fighting faster planes, because it's got that energy retention. It's got that really a strong ability to keep its speed. And not being able to sort of exploit that, being forced to do high altitude boom and zoom, is a bit of a shit way to play the MiG-19. It's not fun. Waiting on your opponents to, to make a mistake by flying in a straight line is really, really frustrating. And having the MiG-19 at a higher battle rating, for example, perfect situation for this plane to spread its legs, stretch its wings, and just absolutely have a blast. I feel like 
here's an opportunity to set things right and to get the groundwork laid out before it goes too wrong. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to support the channel, please feel free to head down to the link in the description below for 3% off at the Gaijin store. And of course, getting my decal. That gives me a little bit of commission and it brings the uh, opportunity for some, some better stuff. I would really love to get myself a uh, next generation graphics card. That would be chef's kiss. Just, just beautiful. If I could do that and then I could play the game at 4K instead of having to backboard 1080p to 4K. I think that would be wonderful. If you guys could uh, support the channel that way or even just leaving a like, you know, anything helps. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time and I'd like to thank you all for watching to the end of the video. Take care and I'll catch you next time.